Okay, if you've ever had an app idea bouncing around in your head, but thought, I don't know how to code, or that's too complicated, then this video is for you. In the next 15 minutes, we are gonna build a real working app that you could share with the world today. No coding background needed, no fancy setup, just a spark of an idea, a couple of AI tools, and your willingness to click along with me. And look, this isn't a fake tutorial where you watch me for an hour and then nothing. No, we are actually gonna start from scratch and we will finish with a live app that you can actually share with the world and people can sign up for and actually use. Let's get started. All right, so here is our plan, dead simple. First, we are gonna flesh out our idea a bit. I mentioned that we just ha need a spark of an idea. So we're actually gonna use AI to help us flesh out our, our, our idea Specifically, we're gonna go ahead and use Claude to do so. Now, this step is optional for you because what we're gonna do in this step is we're gonna give this spark of an idea to Claude and have Claude generate a prompt that we will then use for our second step, Lovable. So you're, you are welcome to skip this step because I'm actually gonna provide the prompt in a link below, or you can actually follow along whatever you prefer. But what Claude will do is it'll put together a more concrete product vision, and then it'll provide us with that prompt. And then that brings us to our second step, which is generating the actual front end. And in this case, we're gonna use Lovable to do so. We're gonna take the prompt that we got from step one and plop it in to Lovable, and that front end will be developed. Now, when I say front end, what I really mean is the part that the users see. Of course, with any application, you have a front end and you have a back end. So in our case, we are going to use Supabase for that. So that brings us to our third step, integrate our lovable project with a brand new project that we create in Supabase. So that is our third step. And then our fourth step to follow up on that is we're going to go ahead and create our database in Supabase. That way we can store data about our app in our database and handle user accounts and all things auth. Now, when I say auth, what I really mean is having a sign up form, having a sign in form so real users can set up an account and use our application. Finally, our fifth step, we are gonna install light switch analytics so that we, we know what's working, what's not, which features our users love, which don't, is it converting? Is it working? So that's what we're going to do with Light Switch. Now, if you haven't heard of any of these tools, no worries. I've included the links below and we're going to go over them later in this video. Let's get started. Now, if you don't know me, I'm Sunny. I'm a serial founder now on my fourth startup. I've been a senior engineer at Bloomberg and Shopify, and I'm also currently an adjunct professor at Columbia Business School, where I teach technology. I've been in the industry for over a decade, well before the AI boom. So I have made all the mistakes so you don't have to. And I'm here to help you actually get your idea out into the world. Let's get started with our first step. All right, so the product that we're actually gonna build is a daily affirmations app. Super simple, each day you log in and you see a fresh new affirmation. Why? Well, because it's simple enough to build in minutes, but still something you can expand on later. Also, if you're brand new to building software, this is the perfect starter project. And also because my life coach would be very proud of me for putting such positivity out into the world. All right, let's get this show on the road. So we'll start with this. We have this kernel of an idea. Now we're gonna let Claude do her magic and spruce her up a bit. So let's go ahead and go to Claude. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna paste this prompt. It's all I'm gonna paste. So I wanna build an affirmation app that promotes well-being. I'm going to build this in Lovable, so generate a prompt. So we're giving the kernel of an idea, but we're also instructing Claude that the output that we need is another prompt. This is actually called meta prompting. And then that prompt we're going to then throw into Lovable. Let's see what she comes back with. 
All right, so we can see here that we're getting core features. This looks all good to me, a perfect starter project here. Also gives us some sense of visual design. Can't attest if it's gonna be attractive or not, but we'll just go with it for now. Um, they give some specs here, key pages, some suggestions. So they really, really flesh this out a bit for us. So this is actually a good time to remind you that we are not aiming for perfect right now. The worst thing you can do is sit in your ivory tower of hypotheticals for months, especially in this environment where so much is happening. What we want you to do is we want you to get something live, get something in as many people's hands as possible so you can learn and improve. That's really how Blockbuster products are built. All right, so we have this fantastic prompt. I have no notes for Claude. We're gonna go ahead and copy this and move this over to Lovable. All right, so let's actually go over to Lovable and we're gonna paste this fantastic prompt that we just got and hit enter. So this is also another good thing to remind you is that Lovable is gonna be doing the heavy lifting right now, specifically for the front end. So this process is actually gonna take a bit of time, maybe 30 seconds, maybe a few minutes. And the reason why is because we provided it a fairly meaty prompt. There's a lot here that Lovable has to now go in and build. So stay tuned, we'll hold off. Let's let this run for a bit and um, we'll see what beautiful affirmations app that Lovable has put together for us. Um, we have progress, we have library, we have settings, all kinds of things here. Um, Design-wise, it's cute. I mean, listen, we're not winning any design awards here, but given how much time we spent, I think it's pretty fa fantastic for what we have right now. So let's move on to the next step. But first, here's the thing. Right now, this is a soulless app. I like to say, because all of this text, everything is hard coded. Um, it's not coming from anywhere. It is just the front end here. So in order to turn this into a real app, we need a back end, a database. So we can store affirmations, we could store things like progress, and we could store users. So in order to do that, we are gonna use another service called Supabase. So Lovable and Supabase have a partnership where you can easily spin up a new Supabase project through Lovable, which is what we're gonna do right now. But a quick note, it is gonna run you about $10 a month to set up a new Supabase project. So just wanted to give you that, that note there. So let's go ahead and set up this new Supabase project and connect it to our Lovable project. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna click Connect Supabase. Um, I'm gonna connect a project. Um, you'll probably have to set up an organization and you'll probably have to set up an account in Supabase and connect it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a project here. So we'll let that go, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and create the project. In this case, we'll call it affirmations app. Well, let's see what Lovable decided to call it. Zen Streak Joy. All right, let's call it that. Zen Streak Joy. Oops. All right, cool. So now we're going to go ahead and create this project. So what we're going to do is in the meantime, we're going to go back to Lovable and we're going to connect again now that we've set up the project in Supabase. So I'm gonna click on this and then click connect a project again. This time we don't have to create a new one because we have this Zen streak joy right here. So now that is connected. So we have basically completed our third step or se um, third step here, which is integrating Lovable with Supabase. So let's go ahead and proceed to our next step. So we have gone ahead and integrated our Lovable project with Supabase that is all set up. 
Now we need to go ahead and set up authentication. So that includes sign up, login, the whole thing. So in the industry, we call this identity, but all it means is that the app knows who the user is and the way it does is when a user logs in. So this is very, very important part of an application, especially if you have the intention of eventually making money off your product. In order to do so, you need to know who is using your app and how they're using your app. So that way we, you can create essentially a business model around it. So before we actually set up the authentication though, this is kind of a two-step process. We have to actually update our database here so we can handle users. So before we do that, I actually wanna to go to our database here. So this is the Supabase project. This is essentially our backend. And you can see here, if I click on database, actually, if I click on um, table editor here, right now we don't have any tables in our database. So we have a database, but it's totally empty. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our database to actually handle users. So we'll probably have some kind of users table or profile table. Um, and then once that's set up here, then we want Lovable to set up our forms. So things like login, sign up, and it actually integrates with our form. So let's go ahead and actually, we can do this all in Lovable with one prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this prompt in. And all it is, is very simple, is let's set up user accounts in Supabase and then set up login and sign up flows. So this part is the back end, and then this part is the front end and also the connection between the back end and the front end. So let's go ahead and send that through. Now what Lovable will do first is it wants to set up our database first. So in order to do that, it'll create something called a migration. We don't need to get into the details of it, but simply put a migration is just a command to change the structure of a database. In this case, we want to add in some kind of table for users. Lovable will put that kind of that command together and then it will ask you to approve that command. That's why we see this approve button here. We don't need to get into the details of what this looks like. All we need to do is click this approve button. So now that we've hit this approve button, now it's going to restructure that database to add in that user accounts table, whatever it calls it. And then it's gonna then create the login form, sign up form, and actually connect those two together. So while that's working, let's actually go back to our backend here. I'm gonna refresh the page. And you'll see here in our table editor, now we have this profiles table. It's empty because we don't have any users currently, but we now have that available so that way when someone signs up, they can then plop, they can sign up and then that information about that user will be put into this table. Another thing I wanna draw your attention to is this. So, this is all kinds of information and configurations on your backend project. What I'm gonna do next though, is I'm gonna to go to authentication and I'm gonna to go to sign in slash providers. And I'm actually gonna uncheck this off. So this is confirm email. So put simply what this means is that currently by default, when a user signs up for an account using Supabase and Lovable, they actually need to confirm their account with an email that gets sent to them. So this is a common mechanism. It's usually put in place to prevent spam bots and things like that. Usually a good practice to have on, and we will eventually switch this back on. But for now, I'm actually gonna switch it off just purely for testing purposes. I just wanna make sure everything's working. So I may wanna put in a couple of fake emails just to test that everything is in working order. So. Now that we've set that up, let's go ahead and see what Lovable is doing. It looks like it's still creating authentication. Let's let it do its thing and then we'll, we'll chat on the other side.
All right, so it looks like it completed the full authentication flow. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna test it and see if it works. So first, I'm gonna put in a fake account. This should throw us some kind of error because this account does not exist, and it does, fantastic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. So sunny at gmail.com, that is not my real email, so don't spam me. Um, we'll say sunny. Say sunny again, and then password is there. Let's go ahead and create our account. Okay, so it looks like we are now in. Um, it says, welcome back friend. And it looks like I was able to sign up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna sign in with what I just created. Great, so now that works. And just as a final check, is I'm gonna go into my back end, the table editor, to see if this is here and look at that. My account has been created. It's always fun seeing your own name in a database. It's like the app is already affirming who I am. So now we have all that set up, let's move on to our next step. So now that we've got a working app, that's great. But here is where most people stop. They launch, but they have no idea what's happening in their app. They have no idea who's signing up, what they're doing. So LightSwitch actually solves this. It's a plug and play analytics that's built for indie developers, for that builders who are essentially building using AI tools like Lovable, Cursor, V0, et cetera. Now, full disclosure, this is something that I have built. So I've spent a ton of time on Reddit and at meetups talking and helping AI builders. And I found that this was kind of table stakes in order to eventually really build your app into something that makes money, having some basic analytics. But the tools out there seem very bloated, like there's, it's just like too much for some of these more simpler apps that are being created. So with LightSwitch, what we could do is we could see are people logging in every day, how long they're spending on the app, how many people are actually engaging with the app. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we're gonna go to the onboarding for light switch analytics um, right here. Let's go ahead and get started. So project name is Zen Streak. In this case, we're using Lovable. We're gonna feed in our project URL here. Cool, my name is Sunny, it's Ronnie. We'll say, Zen streak at getlightswitch.com password. All right, so now that I've set up an account, what I'm gonna do next is I'm simply just gonna copy this prompt. I'm now back into Lovable and I'm just gonna paste this here. And what this is gonna do is it's going to hook up my project here into light switch. So that way everything is kind of handled automatically. So let's have light switch, let's have lovable set that up right now. All right, so it looks like lovable has successfully integrated with light switch. Let's go back to the light switch onboarding. Now that we have successfully pasted it and it's done, I'm gonna hit continue. Looks like that light switch has already detected that as connected and we go ahead and finish. And now we have access to this super easy, lightweight dashboard where we can track only the metrics that matter. Cool. So we have successfully finished all of our step. That's it. We went from nothing to a live hosted app with real users, a database, analytics, and listen, you could start charging for premium affirmations tomorrow if you wanted to, but we're actually gonna save that for a future video. So here is your homework. I want you to build this app. I'm gonna put some of these prompts that I use in the, in the description below. I want you to push it live and share your link in the comments or tag me. I'll feature my favorites. Now, I'll end with this. Your first app won't be perfect. Mine wasn't either, but you will learn a hundred times faster by shipping stuff than actually sitting an idea. Now go build something that you can actually show off. Thank you.